Never ending backstage saga part 12. The Undertaker is drinking Austin's beer. Regal finally gets the courage to walk in and uh, talk to him. He says, you are trespassing. Taker says, no, no. A sign outside says, Undertaker's yard. It's clear as day. Regal's not fooled by this. You spilled tobacco juice all over Deborah's blouse. You need to apologize to her right now. If you don't leave and apologize to her right now, I will be forced. And I mean forced. And at this point, the Undertaker dumps his spit cup all over Regal's head. We get a classic William Regal reaction. He just shakes and sneers and jitters on out the door. Taker says, don't worry, it's good for your hair. You did see that. Actually. I'm skeptical, by the way. The funniest thing is when the tobacco juice got poured all over his head, a big chunk of chaw landed right above his right eye, and it stayed there. Great visual. Uh, let's see. So after the break, Edge and Christian, they meet with Regal, who's trying to play cool. Regal He's... claims he had a coffee accident. Yes. I guess he, he is... cannot bring himself to explain that the Undertaker poured cha all over him. Special English coffee, he says. Somebody startled him. Anyway, Edge and Christian say, listen, we beat Jericho and Benoit tonight. We want you to know they're going to come to you. They want a rematch. We're ready. They want a rematch, too. Regal says, that's great. And he says, I will leave to freshen up. We have Lillian with Rhino. And this is her question. I'm glad we also wrote her down. <laughs> You'll be defending the hardcore title against Bradshaw tonight. What a challenge this will be for your hardcore title. Not that a that's question. not a question. <laughs> In any way. Anyway. So Rhino says... He is a hardcore man living in a hardcore world. Tonight he will defend his hardcore title against Bradshaw and show him how hardcore he can be. And he stops at this point and gives Lillian the eye and then moves on. That was creepy. <laughs> Never-ending backstage saga part 13. Oh, I'm not making that up. We ain't getting to 20. Damn it. No, but we, we top 12. The Undertaker is bored. He starts throwing shit around and decides to put on Austin's vest. You know, I got to say that we never got the segment where Regal went in to see Vince, Austin, and Deborah. No. They must have They must have had to cut it out or something like that. This was the last we saw. At first, I couldn't figure out why Undertaker was so mad. It was like, he was having a great show, just humiliating everybody. But he was mad that Steve Austin hadn't come to see him yet. Vince so, was right. It was bait. So he had to take matters into his own hands. And by the way, before that, the next match is Bradshaw versus Rhino. And it's for the hardcore title. And at this point, I had no idea what the main event was. I was like, is there a match I'm waiting for here? There's like 20 minutes left on the show. What the fuck is the main event? So Bradshaw and Rhino, by the way, was the main event for the hardcore title. And the match opens with a lockup. At which point Michael Cole says, and I quote, it's not starting very hardcore. <laughs> right. Uh, now they did brawl backstage and they fought all over the place. And finally, Bradshaw's got him on top of this gimmick and he's going to power bomb him off onto some crates or whatever or to his death. And up walks the big show. Mm -hmm. He clobbers Bradshaw with the two by four. And Rhino climbs on top to get the pin. How many fucking people is the big show feuding with? At least two. Well, Brian, it's funny you should ask, because right before this match, they aired The Whack of the Night, which was Bradshaw pinning show with Test's help on the show in England. So at least Bradshaw and Test. I see. Wow. So there you go. So as they're doing this hardcore match, they're talking about Undertaker and Austin and Taker putting on Austin's gear. And Cole says, The Undertaker... He put on Austin's colors. Black? Black is now... The term, Vinny. Austin's colors? Those were his colors. He, Come on. Uh, Taker put on Austin's vest over his own vest. Yes. Was it at least make him look... You realize how big his vest is. His vest is much larger than Austin's vest. Sure. He's a huge man. So, yes, they have this this wacky fight, and Big Show shows up, and does he choke them through, as Michael Cole called it, those thick wood pallets. Well, they were thick wood pallets, Vinny. 
and Rhino. He was right. Never ending backstage saga part 14 actually does finally end. The Taker is now walking around. He has the belt around his waist, the chain around his neck, and Austin's vest. And he goes to the ring for a promo. All right, so I got to say that earlier I talked about how the best, the best place on the show to wrestle is the opener. And I noted that Crash and Spike Dudley got like 40 seconds. Well, then here we are. It's time for the main event, and they got way too much fucking time. <laughs> so the story was that Undertaker's in the ring. He wants Austin. And Vince comes out, and he says, Austin isn't coming out until you get rid of all the shit. But he doesn't just say it like that. First, he's got to say you got to get rid of the chain. Undertaker's got to go get rid of the fucking chain. Then he says, well, you got to get rid of that belt. Undertaker goes and gets rid of the belt. Then, which I couldn't even figure out, Vince is worried that Undertaker's going to hit him with chairs. And so he goes and he makes everyone get out of their chairs. And then he throws the chairs in a pile at ringside. Shitty plan, Vince. <laughs> it was. Finally, Undertaker's naked. Out comes Steve Austin for the big brawl. And honest to God, Vinny, you can go from here because I was so bored by this point, I don't even remember what happened. I presume Undertaker beat up Steve Austin. Uh, let's see. They talked for a long time. Nothing happened. And Austin charges. They fight. Vince jumps Taker with a chair. He gets choked then for his troubles. Austin jumps Taker. He's about to use a chair when Kane returns. I don't know how long he was gone. All these shows Wasn't run together. That long. He's, his arm's still busted. It's like two weeks. Yeah. And uh, Austin double, dodges a couple of chair shots and he flees. You know... We're watching these shows one show a week, and some people have said, hey, you guys should watch Raw and SmackDown the same week. Can you imagine having to watch these Raws and SmackDowns back-to-back? -back? No, no, I can't. The same guy is doing the same shit on back-to-back no, -back shows. No, it's not going to happen, everybody. It will never happen. Hold your horses. Besides, it should be going three hours if we had to review SmackDown after this. Yes. All right. Well, that's the show, everyone.